Hello, everybody. Good evening. Thank you for joining. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. I'm here. Uh, how are you guys? Very well. How are you today? I'm Amazing. Okay. We're going to start, guys, with the session. This is class number two. Uh, let me see if I have new participants. Tengo por acá nuevos, bueno, no nuevos, tal vez, que nos unen este día. ¿Quiénes se nos unen este día? Probablemente ya tuvieron alguna dificultad. Tengo alguien acá que se nos une este día, por primera vez. Ok, no se preocupen. Voy a, tengo acá el control, quiero pasar lista. Así que, remember, once you listen to your name, say present, please. Say present. We're going to start. Okay. Dagna Moncada. Dagna Moncada. Remember, say present. Dagna Moncada. Hello, Dana. Dagna. Okay, I can see you. I can see you. I think you're having some issues, Tata. No problem. Maria Veronica. Present. Here. It is Janet. Present, teacher. Thanks. Janet Castillo. Present, teacher. Thanks. Alexis Flores. Present. Thank you. Ana Maria Hueso. Present, teacher. Thanks. Ana Janet. Ana Janet. Ana, can you hear me? Ana Aparicio. Escucha? Well, I can see you. I can see you, Ana. Jenny Sarai. Present. Here. William Ernesto. Present. Thank you. Daniel Jeremias. Present teacher. Here. Ruth Elizabeth. Present. Thanks. Ruth Milagro. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Enigdio. Present teacher. Thank you. Walter Alfredo. Present teacher. Thanks. Jose Bismar. Jose Bismar. It's not here. Jaime, I'm sorry, Sonia Maldonado. Present teacher. Thank you. Jaime Humberto. Jaime Humberto. Not here yet. Zulma Yanira. Present. Thank you. Gloria Erisela. Present. Thank you. Heidi Lisbeth. Present. Very good. Victor Adonai. Present. Thank you. Uh, Yuma Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Jocelyn Bonilla. Present teacher. Thanks. Yeah. Erika Yesenia, sorry. Erika Yesenia. Present. Vilma Tatiana. Vilma Tatiana. I'm here yet. Veronica Milagro. Verónica Milagro. Bueno, Verónica Milagro, que me estaba mencionando en el chat, que tenía problemas. Eh, la, la logro ver, ¿ok? Thank you. Gerardo Chinchilla. Present. Thank you. Erika Marisol. Present, teacher. Thank you. ¿A quién me ha mencionado? ¿Alguien que no ha mencionado? 
Uh, ya, yeah. sí la mencioné a la primerita. Creo que no me escuchó. Okay. Ya, ya lo tengo listo, no se preocupe. Ya lo tengo listo. Thank you. Teacher. Ana Janet. Sí, a mí no me mencionó, quizás no escuché. Sí, sí la mencioné, no se preocupe. Okay. Probablemente no me Gracias. escuchó. No problema. Gracias. You're welcome. Somebody else? ¿Alguien más que no ha mencionado? Creo que todos. Eh, Teacher, yo tengo una pregunta. Dígame. Es que anoche entré tarde y no sé si pasó lista. Eh, sí tomé capturas. No se preocupe. Sí, me recuerdo que me aparecía. ¿Okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Eh, ¿Alguien más que no ha mencionado? Okay, we're going to start, guys. Thank you for being here. Welcome again to a, our new class. Give me a second. We're going to start with the session. This is session number, class number two, guys. Let's begin. Repito nuevamente, ¿quién se ha unido ese día por primera vez? Es decir, iniciando esa clase. Creo que la mayoría estuvo allá. Si hay alguien nuevo que nos pone ese día, no está bien. Ok, let's continue, guys. This is class number two, basic three. The topic for today is the future will be going to in conversation, happy birthday. That is the topic for today. Today is Thursday, July 15th, class number two. I want to ask something before to continue. And I would like to know if you have any problems or have you have any problems with the platform? How is it going? ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma? Antes de continuar. ¿Todo bien? Todo bien. Todo bien. Teacher, ¿puedo hacer ¿Sí? una pregunta? Yeah. Este, no sé si soy yo, pero no encuentro el libro. Oh, ok. Buena pregunta. Eh, ayer, ayer les comentaba no sé si eso no me, no me escuchó cuando lo mencioné. Igual, lo repito, no se preocupe. Ayer les comentaba que para, para este programa no vamos a utilizar, no tenemos un manual, ¿ok? No tenemos un manual. Eh, no lo van, en ese caso no se va a dejar ningún manual. Vamos a estar trabajando en la plataforma. Ahí nos vamos a enfocar. Este va a ser nuestro manual, la plataforma. Ustedes van a ir completando cada sección, ¿verdad? Las cinco secciones. Y acá, pues, ustedes tienen eh, la información con, re con respecto a los contenidos, en los, los videos informativos. Y, por supuesto, en cada video recuerden que hay un foro, foro de discusión, que es acá. ¿Okay? Así es que ustedes pueden acá compartir sus respuestas. Sus respuestas acá. Creo que han contestado algunos. Así es que una vez ustedes vean el video, ¿verdad? ustedes pueden compartir sus respuestas acá. Eh, por lo general, el speaker o la persona que está explicando acá en el video les hace una pregunta al final. Y, o les pide que ustedes escriban ejemplos en el, en el foro de discusión. Ese es el foro de discusión. Ustedes pueden acá poner su respuesta. Es muy importante que ustedes las, las incluyan porque estamos, en ese caso, pues, aprendiendo y practicando. ¿verdad? Igual, Acá en las clases se va a estar facilitando el contenido. Eh, cualquier cosa que ustedes necesiten, ustedes solo me dicen. Pero eh, manual, en este caso, no vamos a tener. Hay un manual que va a descargar, sino que trabajamos o nos enfocamos en la plataforma. ¿Ok? ¿Está claro su duda? Um, sí, sí, eso <ríe> pensé okay. que... Era yo. Uh -huh. Gracias. Ok, no se preocupe. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Ok, ¿alguien más? No sé si ha tenido 
inconvenientes con la plataforma. Hemos iniciado con la plataforma. Recuerden que hay que iniciar. Y repito, si hay dudas o preguntas, eh, con gusto. Podemos hacerlas eh, ya sea por WhatsApp, grupo WhatsApp, o ustedes pueden contactarme eh, de forma personal y pasamos a la hora. Igual pueden hacer sus consultas con los de los ejercicios, como lo mencionaba ayer. Eh, pueden hacer sus consultas acá en caso tengan algún problema con algún ejercicio. Si veo que algunos o me, la mayoría tienen algún problema con algún ejercicio en específico, lo voy a discutir acá en clase para que ustedes puedan verificar cuál es el error o, o probablemente cuál fue su duda. Que lo vamos a hacer acá en clase en caso exista algún ejercicio, ¿verdad? Que no sé alguna dificultad. Ok. Ok, let's continue. The topic, remember, is the future would be going to. In conversation, happy birthday. Moving on, let's begin. The future will be going to. Okay, that is a form, that is a, an auxiliary that, that we use when we talk about the future. The simple future, be going to. Let's begin by saying, when do we use it? When do we use be going to? We use it to express future plans and intentions. Everybody has future plans and intentions, right? Talking about the future, okay? So let me give you the way we structure be going to. Let's begin with affirmative. When you want to express or you want to make sentences in affirmative, you follow a formula. The formula is this one, in affirmative. We begin with a subject plus the verb to be. What is the verb to be? Do you remember? Is, um, are, um. Yes, is, um, are. Very good. Are. That is the, yeah. That is the verb to be, very good. Verb be, um, are, yes. Right? We use the verb be and then we accompany going to. We use going to. Going to, this is an auxiliary. Then we use a verb. The verb, this verb is in base form. The verb is in base form. Finally, we have a complement. Okay? Let me give you some examples. Look at the structure. Look at the structure and look at the example. I am going to celebrate my birthday next week. I am going to celebrate my birthday next week. We have a subject, verb B, am, going to, which is auxiliary. Celebrate is the verb, this is in base form. My birthday next week, that is a compliment. Okay. That's the first example. This is a, an intention that probably someone has or a plan, a future plan. Okay, next week is my birthday. I'm going to celebrate, I am going to celebrate my birthday next week. That is a future plan. Okay. That's a future plan that I already arrange, arrange. Another example, let's go with two more. He is going to travel to Roatan next Friday. This is another future plan. He is going to travel to Roatan next Friday. Okay, let's analyze this example. Let's analyze this example. Okay, we said that we have a subject, verb be, going to, and the verb, this is in base form. And at the end, we have a complement. 
he is going to travel rather next Friday. Let's analyze it. Subject, verb B, going to travel rather next Friday, that's a company. This is a way we analyze the statement. This is be going to. Another example, Kyla is going to visit her parents tomorrow. This can be an intention, an intention that Kyla has, right? What does she, what does she want? Probably she wants to see her parents, right? That is a future intention. Kyla is going to visit her parents tomorrow. What is the subject, guys? What is the subject? Kyla. 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 What is the verb be? Is. 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 Going to is a tail, right? What is the verb in base form? Is it. Is it. Is it. In the compliment? Parents tomorrow. 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 Parents tomorrow. Very good. This is a, an intention. An intention that Kyla has. Okay, very good. This is affirmative form. Any questions right here, guys? Any questions? The one that's No, teacher. Oh. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Sure, tell me. Lo voy a decir en español El verbo. Es, se ve de que es al natural, ¿verdad? En, en el presente simple. No sé yes. si en algún momento va a cambiar. No, we always use it in base form, in present form. We always. Ok, yes. thank you. You're welcome. Why? Why? Because we have an auxiliary. Going to, and we use an infinitive. Going to celebrate. Siempre lo utilizamos en, en forma base. Tenemos un auxiliar, un verbo auxiliar. Cada vez que tengamos un verbo auxiliar, el verbo que sigue es en forma base o en forma presente o infinitiva. Infinitiva. Okay. All right. Can you give me, can you tell me some future plans that you have for this coming weekend or next vacation? Volunteers, I am going to and go to beach this weekend. Okay, I am going to go to the beach. Go beach this, this weekend. weekend. Very good. I am going to go to the beach this weekend. Good, this is a future plan. Excellent. Somebody else, another future plan? I am going to. Do you have future plans for this weekend? My sister, uh, excuse me. William? My sister, my sister is going to go to San Miguel next Saturday. Excellent. Uh, just remember, don't forget to include the, the verb be, William. My sister is going to go to. Thank you. Go to San Miguel this weekend, right? Yes. Very good. That's the future plan. Uh, I yeah. am going to have lunch on Saturday. Very good. Uh, Ruth, right? Ruth. Ruth. We are going. going. We are going to ride the bus bicycle on weekend. Yes. Very good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, as uh, Veronica, right? Veronica, we are going to ride a bike this weekend. Very good, Veronica. That's a nice example. We are going to ride a bike this weekend. Or you can say, because yeah, we're 
we're, we're having a lot of people ride bikes. We're going to ride bikes this weekend. Amazing. Anybody else? Another future plan? About you, about your family members, about your friends, etc. She is going to dance on your anniversary. She is going to dance uh, on her anniversary. Very good. Somebody else? Daniel? They are going to stay at home. Yeah, very good. They are going to stay at home. Good. That can be called an intention, right? So probably uh, you, you don't want to go out, but you don't have a, a plan. But that can be an intention. Well, they are going to stay home. They stay at home, right? Very good. Anybody else? Okay, perfect. Those are some great examples. Let's continue here. Let me give you more explanations. Let's continue with negative. With negative, we continue with the same formula. Okay, we keep it. We keep it, but we include something else. Our so subject, we have the verb be again. We have not after the verb be, not. We are going to, as a verb in base form, finally we have the complement. As you can see, the change or what we include is just not. Not. After the verb be, I will say, he is not going to invite all her friends for the party. He is not going to invite all her friends for the party. Let's analyze the example again. Let's analyze. Now we talk about negative form. Remember with negative, we include not after the verb be. Analyze example, let's go. We say she is not going to invite all her friends for the party. Okay, let's go. Subject, for be not going to invite as a verb in base form, and this is the complement. All the friends for the party. Okay, let's go with another example. Listen, they are not going to go to El Boqueron on Saturday. They are not going to go to El Boqueron on Saturday. This is a similar one. They are not going to go to El Boqueron on Saturday. Subject, verb be, or not going to go with we'll it on, on side as the content. Another example, oh, that's the last one. Uh, listen, related to the negative form and with the affirmative form, we can do so too. We use contractions, right? Contractions. In negative form. For example, if you say I'm not, I'm not equals I am not. For example, if you say he isn't, he isn't going to. Let's talk about this one. She is not. So here we say she isn't, she isn't equals she is not. They aren't equals they are not we can use contractions in negative form and we can use in affirmative just in negative and let me tell you the way we use them in affirmative 
in affirmative. In affirmative, we say, I'm, I'm going to, I am. Uh, he's, is going to, we say, he is. We're, we're mm -hmm. going to, we say, we are. Right? So this is what affirmative, affirmative form. Okay. Any questions over here, guys? What do you want to say? How's it going, by the way? How's it going? Como vamos? Well, muy rápido. Everything good? It's okay. Yeah. What about the rest? Any questions? So far, so good. Good, good. Thank you. Appreciate. Anybody else? Questions? No? Okay. Can you give me some examples in negative? Probably if you don't have plans. Or just give me some examples. In negative. we will be going to. I am not. Going to volunteers. I'm not going to have a lunch this weekend. Okay, yes. I'm not going to have um, fun this weekend. Veronica? I'm, I'm not, not going to work this weekend, teacher. Okay, I'm not going to work this weekend. Very good. So that was Jansi, right? Yeah, Jansi. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Veronica Duran. Give us You're an welcome, example. Teacher. Gracias. Yeah. I, I am not going to have lunch on Saturday. Okay. Good. I am not going to have lunch on Saturday. So specifically, I will say Veronica. Veronica is not going to have lunch on Saturday. Jancy is not going to work. on weekend in the chat oh. he's he is not going to study on next week okay Anna Maria good he is not it again he is not going to study on next week next week uh oh. You say on next week? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you omit on. You omit on. Yeah, you say on, next week. On, on next week. Mm -hmm. You can say just next week in this case. Next week. Okay. You say on weekend because when we say weekend is Saturday and Sunday, right? Week is from Monday to Friday. So we say next week. Just next week. Okay, Ana Maria? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Uh, I think Daniel, Daniel Jeremias. He isn't going to play soccer this weekend. Okay. He isn't, he isn't going, going to play. Yeah. He isn't going to play soccer this weekend. Excellent. He isn't going to play soccer this week. Very good. Somebody else? I, I think I listened to somebody else. Uh, they are not going to eat dinner. Okay. Uh, that was Gerardo, right? Yes. Gerardo, sorry. Gerardo. They, are, they are not going to eat dinner. Okay. Dinner uh, probably tonight? Sí, tonight? Yes. Okay, very good. I listen to Edith and then I will listen to Jaime. Edith? Sí, sí. We are not going to see you tomorrow. We are not going to? We are not going to see you tomorrow. Do you say swim or sing? See you. Oh, see, see you. <laughs> yes. See you? 
tomorrow, right? Okay, we are not going to see you okay. tomorrow. Very good, Edith. Hi, man. We aren't gonna play with you anymore. We aren't going to play with you anymore. Very good. Okay, listen, I'm going to explain the following thing. I'm going to answer Gloria's question. Yes, Gloria, we can say, listen, we have a uh, different contractions in negative. We can say, they aren't. We can say, they are not, which is a long form, or we can say, they're not. They're not going to a, what? Celebrate their break, birthday, sorry, next week. So we can use this other con contraction, but it's not common. I mean, we, we tend to use this one. Yeah, you can use it. Okay. Esa es otra contracción. They're not. They're not going to see uh, his friends, I'm sorry, their friends next Saturday, for example. We can use it. Okay. And um, Jaime, for example, Jaime, in the example that they that he gave us, we aren't going to play with you anymore. It, he was using another form. Okay, let me tell you what is the form. We aren't gonna play with you anymore. Okay, we tend to use gonna. Gonna, that is an informal way. Esa es una forma informal. Gonna. Una forma informal. Se puede utilizar. La, la, la mayoría de personas la utiliza. We are in gonna. This is the, the short form. Short form. Esa es una forma corta. And we don't say going to. We say gonna. Gonna play with you anymore. Esa es una forma informal. That's the way Jaime said, right? The example. That's good. That's good. We aren't going to play with you anymore. Or in this Excuse case, we, are, we aren't going to play anymore. Sorry? En la plataforma hay un video que enseñan esa pronunciación. Yes. Gona. 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 So it's uh, gona equals going to. We aren't gonna play with you. We don't say we aren't gonna do. No, because uh, in here we have this form. We aren't gonna play. We aren't gonna play. We are gonna play with you. That is an affirmative. We are gonna play with you. Okay. And that, that is correct. That is correct. Grammatically, no. Grammatically, no. Grammaticalmente, no es correct. Pero sí se puede utilizar. Okay. Son formas informales. Eso las vamos a, a ver eh, bastante. Más que todo cuando alguien está, escuchamos una conversación, la utilizan bastante. Para... Textos académicos, por ejemplo, si no es correcto utilizarlo. Gramaticalmente no, no sería correcto ¿verdad? en un texto académico. Pero si es hablando en una conversación, claro que se puede utilizar. ¿Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Yo he visto bastante eso en las películas. Cuando yes. se envían mensajes. Exactly. Yeah, eh, American people... American people use these contractions or these, I uh, would say, short forms. They tend to use this in movies, uh, I would say in TV programs or TV shows. They use gonna, gonna, because that's the way they, they speak. 
American people, or native speakers. Lo, las personas americanas, que todo, ese es el enfoque, ¿verdad? Ese es el contexto. Eh, las personas americanas, o sea, películas, programas de televisión, etcétera, utilizan bastante eso. Las, las formas cortas. Bueno, esa es la forma como ellos pues, lo transmiten, la forma como ellos hablan. ¿Okay? Pero eso sí, cabe la aclaración que cuando tenemos un texto académico, por ejemplo, estamos escribiendo un, un ensayo, estamos escribiendo un, uh, más, un párrafo siempre académico, no es correcto utilizarlo. Debemos utilizar siempre las formas Okay, por decirlo así, tense, ¿verdad? We are going to uh, celebrate the birthday Okay. That's a way. Any questions, guys? Right here? No, teacher. Sure. Very good. So far, so good? Yep. Yes, teacher. Okay, thanks. Moving on. Let's continue. Let's go now with just my questions. Just my questions. It, with just my questions, we make some changes. And specifically with the first two parts, all right? We use at the beginning the verb be. Now, now we don't start with the with the subject. We begin with the verb be. Second, we have the subject plus going to plus the verb in base form, and at the end we have a complement with the question mark. It is important to use the question mark. The question, right? This is the question mark. Question mark. Okay, so we need to include it in the question. For example, are you going to do anything next vacation? Are you going to do anything next vacation? You know, vacation is coming, right? It's coming. It's almost vacation. Are you going to do anything next vacation? Next vacation, we get some short answers. You can say, yes, I am. No, I'm not. Those are the short answers, right? The short answers. We say yes or no. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. But you can include more information if you want. Podemos incluir más información a pesar de que son solo respuestas cortas. Yes or no, sí o no, podemos incluir un poco más de información, ¿verdad? For example, you say, yes, I am. You can say, I'm going to the beach. Yes, I am. I'm going to the beach. If you say, no, I'm not. If the answer is no, you say, I'm going to stay home. Okay? But most of the times, because these are just no questions, we say, yes, I am. No, I'm not. Only that. Okay, please don't don't do so. Don't do so, William. Please. Don't do so, please. Thank you. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Okay. Yes, I am. I'm going to go to the beach. No, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. What about if I ask you guys? Are you going to do anything as anything next vacation? What can you tell me? Volunteers? Yes or no? Yes, I am. I'm going to I'm going to visit my grandparents. Very good. That's awesome. Thank you, Ruth. Ruth, do me a favor. Can you select one classroom, please? Gerardo. Gerardo, okay. 
Good. Uh, Ruth, can you ask the question to Gerardo? Uh, are you going to do anything next vacation? Uh, yes, I am. Um, I'm going to. I'm going to visit my family. Okay. Yeah, that's a nice plan. Perfect. Thank you, Gerardo. Gerardo, select another person, please. Um, Alexis. Alexis. Okay. Let's go with the same question, Gerardo, to Alexis. Um, are you going to to do anything next vacation? Yes. No, I'm not. I'm going to work. Oh, okay. You're going to work. Okay. Well, thank you. I'm sorry. Okay, Alexis, select one more person. Ana. Ana. Ana Maria. Ana Janet. Who? Uh, Maria. Maria, okay. Alexis, let's ask a question to Maria. Ana Maria. Are you going to do anything next vacation? Yes. Yes, I am going to cook a cake. Oh, okay. Very good. Can you? Can you? Bake a cake or make a cake? Yes, I can. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Thank you, Ana Maria. Very good. Okay. But this is the way, guys, we ask just the questions. Just the questions. Let me give you another example. Another possibility. So now we, you know, change the question and we talk about someone in a specific, right? Is Charlie going to come to the party next week? So now we don't say yes, I am or no, I'm not. We say yes, he is, or no, he isn't, right? And again, we can include more information. If you say yes, yes, he is, he is going to buy some drinks. If you say no, no, he isn't, he is going to work next week, right? That's the way. It depends on the subject. In this case, we're going to get the answers, right? This is Charlie, he, right? Yes, he is. No, he isn't. Okay. Any questions over here, guys? No? No. Amazing. No. Thanks. Okay, before to move on to the following part, I'm going to go back again to this question. I want to listen to more people. Uh, let's see. Walter, are you going to do anything next vacation? I Walter. Yeah, Walter. Walter. Okay. Um, yes, I am. I am going to visit my old friends. Good. That's a nice plan. Thank you, Walter. Let's go with Erika Yesenia. Are you going to do anything else? Anything else? Vacation, sorry. Yes, I am. I'm going to visit my family. Awesome, thank you. William, are you going to do anything next vacation? William? Uh, yes, teacher. We are going to visit the Tasuma Ruins in Chalchopa City. Oh, okay. That's wonderful. That sounds good, sounds good. Thank you, William. Uh, Juma, are you going to do, are you going to do anything next vacation? No, I am not. I am going to church. I'm going to? 
church. Iglesia. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I got you. Okay, you can say, I am going to go to short. Short. I am going to short. Okay. Very good, Gemma. Daniel, okay. are you going to do anything next vacation? No, I'm not. I'm going to stay at home. Okay, that's perfect. Uh, Ruth Milagro, are you going to do anything next vacation? Yes, I am. I am going to visit my parents. Oh, okay. Perfect. That sounds cool. Jocelyn Bonilla, are you going to do anything next vacation? Yes, I am going to go to travel to Mexico. Oh, okay. You can say, listen, Jocelyn, you can say, I am going to go to Mexico. Or you can say, I am going to travel to Mexico. Because travel and go, they are two different actions. I am going to go to Mexico, or you can say, I am going to travel to Mexico. Okay. Pretty good. Thank you, Jocelyn. Victor, are you going to do anything next vacation? Victor? Listen to me, Victor. Veronica Duran, are you going to do anything next vacation? Yes, I am going to visit my father-in-law. Oh, your father-in-law, good. Thank you. Luis, are you going to do anything next vacation? No. I am not really going to work tomorrow oh i'm going to work work oh, okay 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 i got you i got you thank you thank you Luis. appreciate sonia are you going to do anything next vacation uh, yes i am going to the beach I am going to go to the beach. Yes. Repeat again, Tony. I'm going to go to uh, the beach. I am going to go to the beach. Yes, amazing, thank you. Okay, listen. I'm going to go to the next following slide. And I'm going to show you an example of a real life setting. What I want to do, I need you to look at the conversation shown and I need you to listen and practice with your classmates. Here we have an example of a conversation and we are including, you know, the, in this case, be going to, right? Be going to. So we have questions and we have answers, right? Answers. The conversation is between, between John and Lisa, and they're having a real setting, right? And they're asking different questions about future plans. Listen to the conversation first, and then I'm going to you know, request for some participants. Let's go, listen to me first. One, two, three. Are you going to do anything exciting this coming vacation? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Really? When is your birthday exactly? It's on April 2nd, Friday. So what are your plans? My friends are going my friends are going to take me out for dinner next Tuesday. Amazing. Are your relatives going to have a party for you? I guess so. I'm not sure. I think it is a surprise. Okay? As you can see, we are including, right, some interrogations about future plans. 
At the same time, we are responding to those questions and we are saying the future plans that we, you know, we have in the case. Or in this case, Lisa, Lisa has, okay? I need some volunteers. We're going to practice with the conversation. Pretty good, Jaime, thank you. Anybody else? You can raise your hands. Hey, Ruth, mm -hmm. pretty good. Okay, let's go with Jaime and Ruth first. Listen, don't raise, don't lower your hand, please. No bajemos la mano, los que levanten la mano, please. Let's go with Jaime and Sumo first. Jaime, you'll be John, or you'll be Lisa. Are you ready? Yes. Let's begin, let's go. Are you gonna do anything exciting in this coming vacation? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Really? When is your birthday exactly? It's on April 2nd, Friday. So, what are your plans? My friends are going to take me out for dinner next Tuesday. Amazing. Are you really going to have a party for you? I guess so. I'm not sure. I think it is a surprise. Good. That's an amazing job. Thank you. Okay. I will continue with Ana Maria and I will go with Gemma. Let's go with you two first, okay? Uh, Ana, you're going to start. You will be John. Gemma, you will be Lisa. Are you ready to okay. start? Okay. Let's go. Are you, are you going to do anything exciting this coming vacation? Well, I am going to celebrate my birthday. Really? When is your birthday exactly? It's on April 2nd, Friday. So what are your plans? My friends are going to take me out for dinner next Thursday. Amazing. Are you relati are you relatives? Going to have a party for you? I guess so. I am not sure. I think it is a surprise. Yes. Thank you. Well done. That's a good job. Okay. I'm going to select Danielle and Erica Marisol. With Danielle and Erica Marisol. Okay. Danielle, you're going to start. You'll be John. And Erica, you'll be Lisa. Let's go on the camera three. One, two, three. Go ahead. Are you going to do anything exciting this coming vacation? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Really? When is your birthday exactly? It's when, on April 2nd, Friday. So what are your plans? My friends are going to take me out for dinner next Tuesday. Amazing. Are your relatives going to have a party, uh, a party for you? I guess so. I'm not sure. I think it is a surprise. Yes. Thank you, guys. That was cool. I have Dagna. I'm going to go with Dagna. And I will select Luis. Luis, can you help us, please? Please, you'll be John. You'll be John. And Dagna, you'll be Lisa. Are you ready, guys? Let's be English. Let's are go. You, are you going to do anything active this coming vacation? We, I am going to celebrate my birthday. Really? When is your birthday exactly? It's on April 2nd, Friday. So, why are you use planes? My friends are going to take me out for dining next Wednesday. Amazing. Are you really Relatives? going to have a party for you? I guess so. 
I am not sure. I think it is is a surprise. 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 Yes. Thank you, Thank you Dana and Luis. Okay. Do we have more volunteers? For volunteers for the conversation? Please raise your hands. Very good, Gerardo. Me, teacher. And Jansi, good. Okay, Gerardo, you will be John. Jansi, you will be Lisa. Are you ready to start? Let's go, Gerardo. Let's begin. Um, are you going to do anything excited this coming vacation? Well, I am going to celebrate my, my birthday. Really? When is your birthday exactly? It's on April 2nd, Friday. So, what are, what are your plans? My friends are going to take me out for dinner next Tuesday. Amazing. Are your relatives going to have a party for you? I guess so. I'm not sure. I think it is a surprise. Hold on, guys. Thank you. Okay, I will select two participants. Heidi, can you help me? And Jennifer, Jennifer Saleh. Heidi, okay. you're going to start. You will be John. And okay. Jenny, you will be Lisa. Let's begin, Heidi. Let's go. Are you going to an Heidi exactly the this coming vacation? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Three, when is your birthday exactly? It's on I birth second Friday. So what are your friends? My friends are going to take me home for dinner next Tuesday. Emancy, are your relatives are going to have a party for you? I guess so. I'm not sure if this is a surprise. Yes, well done. thank you. Listen, I'm going to point out some words in the conversation that I need to, to practice, right? Uh, I want you to listen to me and repeat, please, everybody. We are hacer énfasis en algunas palabras en general para que ustedes que escuchen y al mismo tiempo repitamos, ¿verdad? Para que podamos practicar esas palabras, ¿ok? First, exciting. 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 Birthday. 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 Exactly. 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 April. 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 Amazing. 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 Relatives. 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 And the last expression is, I guess so. 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 Hold on. Okay. I would like to know, guys, if you have any questions right here about the conversation. Yo tengo una pregunta. Yes. Cuando se pronuncia en el último, en la última línea de Lisa, puedo unir el I think con el it. I think it. Uh, no, no, because I think is an expression. I think is an expression. I think as one expression, right? And they say it it is <clears throat> it is a surprise. For example, <clears throat> sorry, I think the party is a surprise. So 
So you cannot join it because you cannot say, I think it is a surprise. I think it is a surprise. I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense. But you say, I think, I think it is a surprise. <laughs> or I think the party is a surprise. So you make a pause. As una pausa. I think it is a surprise. Or the party is a surprise. Okay? Esas es you welcome. Esas expresiones están dadas de esa forma. I think, or I promise. I promise, and then you have another idea. I promise. Okay, pretty good. Something that I forgot to mention related to be going to, and this is the last thing. We'll be going to. We're talking about here about the simple future. Simple feature will be going to. We include some expressions, some expressions, or sometimes we we call them like clue words, clue words. So these words help us to determine that the future. For example, you can say tomorrow. You can say next week. Next week, you can say uh, on Saturday. You can say in five years, say in the near future. Hmm. Another one can be like next vacation. Those are some time expressions for future. Um, another one we can say in, in 2028, for example. 2028, etc. Those are some time expressions for future. That's why we include them because we determine that that is a future plan, for example, that is a future intention, etc. For example, I am going to travel to, uh, let's see, Spain in 2023. The time expression. Okay. That's the way we use that. All right. Well, guys, again, I was wondering if you have any questions about be going to. Is everything clear? Preguntas, dudas, todo bien, algo que no se comprendió. No, questions. Todo bien, teacher. No question. No teacher. No okay. Question. Good. Listen, uh, I, I just want to assign you a short practice. I need you to write in your notebooks. Write at least six future plans that you have for this coming vacation. Okay, please, in your notebooks, this will be a practice for you. I need you to write six sentences. Your six, six future plans to be going to. For example, I am going to go to, okay, Book it on. Book it on. Next vacation. So this will be an extra practice for you. Va a ser una práctica para ustedes. Quiero que escriban sus planes a futuro. Con be going to. Va a ser una práctica esta, ¿ok? Para que sigamos, eh, en este caso, con el aprendizaje, sigamos practicando. Va a ser una pequeña práctica para ustedes. ¿Ok? Podemos utilizar negativo o afirmativo si gusta. Es que sigamos practicando. Adicional a, a la plataforma. Es seguir con la plataforma. Eh, solo mencionar eso rapidito. Con respecto a la plataforma. Recuerden que eh, debemos de empezar. Es, bueno, debemos de empezar desde ayer, ¿verdad? Si no hemos empezado, ningún problema. Empecemos lo antes posible. Eh, a completar la plataforma. Debemos seguirla completando día a día. 
e ir avanzando. O sea, ellos pueden ir avanzando, como, me, como lo mencioné ayer, no hay ninguna restricción de, por ejemplo, eh, ya terminé estos ejercicios, ya no puedo seguir. No, claro que no. Se puede seguir hasta donde usted quiera avanzar, seguir practicando. Obviamente todo, todo se va a reforzar acá. Todo lo vamos a, en este caso, a facilitar el, el aprendizaje para que ustedes puedan pues, practicar y proporcionar sus ejemplos. ¿verdad? Es que ustedes sigan avanzando, si quieren seguir avanzando, quieren ir al ritmo, que se esperan, no hay ningún problema, pero siéntense libres de avanzar. Probablemente estamos en la primera semana, primera sección, más de alguno va a avanzar hasta la sección 2. Está bien, no hay ningún problema. Eh, lo otro que quería mencionar, este día recuerden que terminamos con la semana, de lunes a, a jueves, ¿verdad? Vamos, de lunes a jueves. Pero en sí, en sí, las semanas van a ir de miércoles a martes. El próximo martes terminamos la primera semana. El miércoles iniciamos la segunda semana y terminaríamos el próximo martes, ¿verdad? Como lo mencioné ayer. Pero en sí, en sí, las clases en inglés corporativo son de lunes a jueves. Así que mañana, los viernes, son libres para ustedes. Así que ahí aprovechemos, avancemos lo más que podamos. Si hay dudas o preguntas, pensamos en la otra. Eh, Dagna, ¿quiere hacer alguna pregunta? Sí. Yes. Eh, mire, en el 1.11, ah, ahí me cuesta entender. 1.12, sí. dijo, ¿verdad? 11. 11. Uh -huh. Ok, bien. Yeah. ¿Cuál específicamente? ¿Cuál? Es que no entiendo. Por ejemplo, en la 1 dice, who, who are you? Y allí pone, eh, in, in, in bit. Yes, yes. Ok, no problem. Let me, let me help, let me help, no problem. No se preocupe. Ok. Algo que sí quiero que seamos bien cuidadosos cuando vamos a los ejercicios, leer las instrucciones. Instructions. Complete the conversations with the correct form of be going to. Follow the example. Vamos a completar las conversaciones con la forma correcta de be going to. Vamos a seguir el ejemplo. Tenemos un ejemplo. How are you going to spend your summer vacation? My parents and I are going to visit my grandparents. Ok, dice la conversación. Bueno, este es un ejemplo. La conversación uno dice acá. Es, una, es, es, es un diálogo, diálogo corto, perdón. Es un diálogo corto. Lo que vamos a hacer acá, el verbo está quedado en paréntesis y no vamos a escribir toda la pregunta. No, porque la pregunta inicia acá y acá termina. Ese es como el complemento. Lo que vamos a incluir solo es lo que resta, exactly, be going to. Who are you going to invite to Thanksgiving dinner? Only that. Vamos a buscar el complemento, por decirlo así. Después en la respuesta, am, am, the verb is ask. So we say, going to ask. Going to ask. Ya no decimos, I am, por ejemplo. Porque si lo tomamos así, el sistema se las va a tomar como malo. Ya se podemos completar. Ya tenemos el sujeto, tenemos el verbo. I'm going to ask. Eso es lo que tenemos que hacer. ¿Ok? Eh, sigamos intentando, Dacna y eh, todos. Si tienen problemas, me avisen, yo les, les puedo ayudar. No ningún problema. Marta. Ok, thank you. Oh, You're welcome. Gracias. Disculpe, teacher. Eh, solamente se pasa una vez la, la lista, ¿verdad? Sí. Yo, bueno, yo soy atento. Yo soy atento. Yo tengo aquí el control como, de la lista, ¿verdad? Como les dije ayer. Eh, no se preocupen. Yo acá los tengo ya. Es eh, que entré siete minutos tarde por mi cambio de horario. Sí. Y de hecho, bueno, se hace uno ese día, ¿verdad? Que ayer no. Se nos unió ese ayer, perdón. Sí, sí, desde ayer. Ok. Perdón, quizás no sé si se unió tarde, ¿no? No, no, este, estuve temprano. Ok, sí. pero, perdón. Solo hoy fue que entré siete minutos tarde, por eso le, le preguntaba, es que no estoy en el país, entonces el cambio de horario y oh, todo eso. 
Yes. Estoy en México, sí. No se preocupe. Eh, yo soy Atento acá y disculpe que no, no me había percatado. Pregunté al inicio, pero sí, no se había si todavía. Si no había mencionado a alguien, así es que no se preocupe, que ya tengo una idea. Muchas gracias, Richard. Yes, you're welcome. Y, well, somebody else, questions? Veo por acá a Carolina Márquez. Hola, Carolina. Hello. Perdón la pregunta. Eh, ¿Se unió ayer, verdad, también? Mm, no, ayer no. Ahora, sé. verdad. Ok, no se preocupe. Eh, disculpe, disculpe que hasta el final lo, lo noté, que, que se había unido. Eh, Well, uh, let me introduce myself, Carolina. I'm sorry. I, my apologies. My name is Hugo Vasquez, and I'm going. I'm working with you in in, in basic three. Nice to meet you. And whenever you need some help, you have any questions, just let me know. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Bueno, aquí está lista ya, Carolina. No se preocupe. No sé si alguien más está acá por primera vez. Creo que no. los demás. Sí, Tatiana ha escrito, Ticho. Sí, más Tatiana. Se unió tarde. Oh, sí, pero ahí la vi y la puse en lista. Sí. Thank you, thank you. Oye, creo que solo Carolina se nos había unido ese día, perdón. Pero es un gusto, que hay un gusto. Hubo más que saludar. Ok. Well, everybody, we're going to start right here. I know that it's time. Thank you so much for your time and your patience. Muchas gracias por su tiempo y su, su paciencia. Y nuevamente, como les decía ayer, eh, me van a disculpar que me una un poquito tarde, minutos tarde. Y eh, comento nuevamente para los que se unieron ese día, eh, yo voy a, entrar, eh, voy a estar entrando de dos a tres minutos tarde porque tengo una clase antes, termino a las nueve. Entonces no puedo terminar antes de las nueve. A veces me tardo un poquito más porque los casi los participantes del curso anterior pues a veces tienen dudas y me preguntan entonces por eso a veces me tardo pero trato la manera de estar a la hora ¿okay? aunque me, me una dos o tres minutos tarde trato la manera de estar a tiempo ¿okay? así es que muchas gracias por su tiempo su paciencia y bueno nos quedamos hasta acá así que es hora thank you so much have a good night everybody blessings to you and your families and I'll see you next Monday okay take care have a nice weekend Thank you, Bye, Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you in class. Bye-bye.